What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and today in the world of indie games we're checking out Space Robinson. A roguelite where I don't even know if that's the right term for the game, alright? I don't know what you call it, but it's a game that's very similar to Enter the Gungeon. It's a game that's very similar to Vintage Year, to Nuclear Throne, to Juicy Realm, to all those kinds of games that are really sort of Binding of Isaac-esque games where you go through with guns, blazing, picking up perks and items all the way across the map taking care of business. In the case of this video, it is sponsored. The developers wanted me to feature it on the channel and after playing the game and checking it out, I enjoyed it. So I figured, why not? Let's do a sponsored video. So don't use this video for any type of reviewer critique or anything else like that. Instead, just use this for purely entertainment purposes. Let's dive straight on into space and get this thing rocking, shall we? But -na 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 -na. We should be there in a couple of hours. I'm already dying to eat though. I'm gonna go look for a vending machine. I want some chips. Yeah, dude, get you some chili cheese Fritos. I'm down with the chili cheese Fritos life, man. There ain't nothing better than chili cheese Fritos when you got that hankering, you got that hankering hunger. Greetings, I am the onboard computer installed on this vast corporation's single-use ship. You have been granted the honor of repairing one of our advanced drilling modules in Colony 21. Well, you know, as an engineer, there's nothing in life, and as, as a geologist, honestly, I was talking from our character's perspective, but like, as a geologist, there's nothing I enjoy more than drilling, too, so it sounds like a, a very, very real way to spend my afternoon. We will be arriving shortly. In the meantime, you can relax in one of the comfortable seats provided, and remember, the Vast Corporation appreciates you. Where is everybody, and where are my chips? Um, yeah, so they appreciate us, that's something. I don't know quite how you monetize appreciation onto my paycheck, but they should probably figure out a way. Oh good, the ship's exploding. That's how they show their appreciation. Alert. System failure. We are experiencing an unanticipated descent. Please, fasten your safety harnesses. Now I see why the ship is single use. Hooray! I'm alive! Judging from those practice targets, the ship must have crashed at a training ground, which means the base is somewhere nearby. Okay, well I see some crates around, so let's break these. Oh, I can't break them, never mind. I was gonna break the crates, so as of right now we've got a dash, we've got a right click that allows us to smack stuff with a wrench, and then we don't have anything on our left click. But once we have a gun, we'll be able to do stuff on our left click. So let's dive on into this thing. Ooh, that poor fellow has even less luck than me, but it looks like he managed to leave a message. If you're reading this, it means that I'm dead. Go north and destroy whatever obstacles are in the way. It'll be your only hope. I think this gun and a bunch of energy clips will probably serve me better than a wrench. All right! Pistola. I was going to say the undead made it to this planet. We're going to have to deal with Necrons, but I guess he's just a dead human. Easy mistake to make. Easy slip up. These are crystals right here. We're going to spend our entire adventure on this planet on crystal, because crystals are the currency by which everything is bought, everything is traded, and everything is done. The game also has a day and night cycle, if you couldn't tell. During night, everything gets more dangerous. What are those things? What's going on here? We've got to find the colonist base and figure out what's happening. So, you know, be careful. Kind of pay attention to the meter at the top of the screen. When it becomes nighttime, things get a lot worse. They get much, much worse. So you kind of want to be in a good defensive position with a lot of ammo and in like a solid, just a solid play position before nighttime arrives, especially on some of the harder missions. Here's the teleporter. Let's take it. We dealt 37 damage. Man, we're out here just being a bicep god. Just killing it right now. Biceps do matter, by the way, for pistols. In real life, the bigger your biceps are, the more damage you deal when you shoot a pistol. That's a fact. Automatic message from the administration. Attention all colonies, there's an urgent evacuation in progress. All personnel are instructed to go to the administration building in the northern mines right away. Do not take any weapons with you. The evacuation fleet is ready and waiting in the main takeoff and landing sector. There you go, what does this say? Welcome to Colony 21! The happiest colony in all the realm. Medbay, genome decoding every Friday. Oh, see, so I got that decoder ring from the company Endorse Serial, and I was wondering what it was for. It was for my genome! So there's all kinds of machines in here that can be fixed with random items that we're going to be finding throughout our adventures. This right here is what we feed all of our crystals into. I don't know what it does yet, because I haven't gotten the 500 crystals, alright? There's lots of stuff to dump crystals into, and I sort of have ADD. So unfortunately, I haven't really been able to figure it out. We've got ourselves some pets over here. So we've got a winged paddock over here where we can get like a bird. And then we've also got a doghouse over here where we can have like an alien duggo. So that'll be pretty sweet. On this side, we can change the difficulty of the game. If you're finding it's too hard for you, you can change it over into easy mode, which gives you more HP and makes the enemies hit less hard. 
That's where we respawn after we die. This is very much one of those games where you die and respawn and kind of advance a little bit in order to make better progress. Much in the same realm of like all the other games in this genre. I just call them like shooter roguelites, but I don't really know what else the proper word would be for them. Uh, the med bay. This is a secondary med bay. What's in here? Got medical machines. We've got a silencer over there, and we've got a broken medical machine. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll figure out what we can do with those a little bit further on down the line. For right now, though, let's dive into the crux of the gameplay and just see what's going on in here. The desert plain. It is a pretty plain desert. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to shoot that right there because that's an explosive bomb. And we got some aliens running around. We're going to introduce them to the business end of our space Beretta, which is in every way cooler than a normal Terran Beretta. All right. Um, yeah, I, I would like it if you would, if you could land some shots, bud. That'd be pretty sweet. If you could put some rounds on target right there, I'd appreciate it, amigo. Thank you very much. This has been a mess from the Atmo Corporation. Was it the Atmo Corporation? Is that who we work for? Ooh, nice. We got items up here. Let's go get them. Uh, we've also got a crystal chest over here. Let's open that on up and get ourselves some currency. Eh, kill you off real fast. Maybe take your ammo. We've got ourselves an adrenaline syringe. You're invulnerable after taking damage. We also have the nuclear wrench. I don't know how the nuclear wrench is going to assist us, but I assume adding a fusion reactor to a wrench is probably a good idea. Melee attack. Summons a spinning wrench. We've also got a portable utilizer. The hero has a chance of creating ammo crystals or a first aid kit whenever they take damage. That seems pretty good. I'm going to take that. That seems like it'll probably be helpful. This little guy's a healer. He doesn't even have any attacks, so we'll just murder him real fast. He's a space medic. I don't know. He heals the other aliens. I was kind of wondering along the way if, like, the aliens themselves, maybe in alien culture, they don't feel pain, so they wound each other, and then they heal the wounds, you know, in order to express that, like, they're friendly. But they don't understand that we don't that we feel pain, and so the whole system is just falling apart and creating wars. That was a really good explosive. We got a lot of mileage out of that explosive. I hope you've noticed that we've got a new duck. We, we, we got a new DACA dealer over here. And we've got ourselves a pretty sweet automatic rifle. Actually, it fires three-shot bursts, so it's not fully automatic, but you get what I'm saying. It's kind of close. If it's not automatic, it's, like, close. Whatever. I'm going to hide back here so that we don't get eaten by that bomb on the ground. I also want that crystal. I'm greedy. Can't help myself. I'm very greedy when it comes to crystals. All right, I can't have... I can't be missing out on these stashes out here. Can you die already? Thank you. Appreciate that. I've shot you with a lot of bullets, and I feel like it's the gentlemanly thing to do to fall over dead right about now. And so if you can't do that for me, I feel like our relationship is going to hit some serious travails and snags, all right? Oh, no, I've been wounded. And we need to find ourselves a medkit. That's what we need. Medkits restore two health. Keep that in mind. They don't restore your entire health meter. They just give you two health back. A few more aliens to be murdered over here. Let's continue just, like, whacking them. There we go. Perfect. And little green guy. Making my life difficult, little green guy. I like to inflict upwards when I say little green guy. I don't know why. I just do. All right. Little green guy. All right. See? It's just sad. Let's beat this guy with a wrench. I'm feeling particularly violent right now. There we go. Grab a few more of those, and then nighttime is here. That's bad. That means we're about to be attacked by all manner of nasty denizens of the dark. So let's, let's move on. I'm not interested in meeting any new denizens right now. And so let's go. Oh, it stays nighttime over here. So apparently the time is consistent. All right, this is going to be our first boss level, so there will be a boss over here somewhere. Uh, we'll want to be ready for him whenever he decides to show up. Yeah, just got to fire that way. I can't see very well right now because of the whole, like, no sunlight thing, but I can see where the bullets are kind of coming from. We can kind of fire at those. Maybe we hit something on accident. Hitting something on accident is probably just as good as hitting it on purpose. I mean, a hostile is a hostile. Whether you kill him on accident or you kill him on purpose, like, who cares? Oh, my God. I'm getting chewed on right now. I need to get more careful. That's what I need to do. Oh, a laser pistol. Nice. I wonder who dropped that. Um, I'll probably swap that out for this pistol right here because these use separate ammo types. And you definitely want to have guns with separate ammo types. I can tell you that emphatically from the amount of time that I've spent with this game. Is you absolutely want to have different ammo types on your guns. Otherwise, you've got, like, that double bleed effect going on with your supplies kind of hard to get around there's some ammo we've got an auto aim SMG what does it do yeah there's our boss right there in case you're wondering where he was hiding at 
Or maybe just like keep shooting at him. It looks like the bullets take a hop or something. I don't know if we take damage on touch right here, but I would prefer not to. I would also very much like for this guy to be dead by nighttime. That would make things much easier on my end. We needed that ammo re resupply too. There's a little bit more right there. Kind of risky to go after it because I knew he was going to try and do that attack the moment that I did, but... Let's just keep firing, shall we? I'm going to try and use cover intelligently for once in my life. Oh, man. I need you to be dead by nighttime. By nightfall? I need you to be gone. Because I can't deal with you and the nighttime horde simultaneously. There we go. He's down. Did it kill all his little minions? It did not. Okay, well, let's grab all the ammo and all the goodies. That should have us restocked on this gun right here. I don't know if I prefer this to the automatic rifle. I don't know. A little bit on the fence about it. Any medkits over here, like, entombed inside this wall? Any ancient Egyptian medkits just laying around that I can inject? Oh, I already have one. Nice. I'm going to say that I can inject straight into my neck in order to not die horribly. Yeah, I think when the bullets take a hop, they seek out enemies, maybe. Not the most accurate firearm. But it does put, like, an intimidating amount of bullets downstream. And I'm alright with that. I need my downtime to be a little bit better. We got 173 right there. We got some crystals stacking up in the old backpack. Nighttime is officially here, so we'll light off these grenades real quick. Oh, that one came out faster. That one came out faster. Okay, so we'll wait for morning. And once we get to morning, we'll try to get out of here. But for right now, let's just chillax for a minute. Put a couple bullets out that way. Hopefully these dudes don't follow us too deep into this territory. Thank you for the ammo. I appreciate that. Very, very nice and kind of you. Yep, just keep shooting. I do like the SMG. It's a little bit inaccurate, but like... It's working for me. Oh, my God. There's so many of them. These are the nighttime creatures right here. They do, like, die when the sun comes out, so be aware of that. Like, you only have to last a little while. And we've got melee attack cools down your dash. We've got weapons deal more damage, and we've got dash deals damage to enemies. I'm going to take more weapon damage. More weapon damage is sounding pretty swell right now. Come on, medkits. I need med kits very, very... Oh, God! I was not expecting that grenade to go off. And now we're almost dead again. Fantastic. I was just starting to get back in the saddle. To have some tangible health to play around with. You there, med monster. You want to heal me? No. No heals from the old med monster? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I get it. You can't help out the enemy. Nor can I. It's not like I'm going to med kit you. This is not an altruistic business that we're in. Dude, there's so many of them down there. I don't want to use all this ammo, but... It may become necessary. Hey, you got some tomato seeds right there. We can use those in the farm to plant things and get, like, a few extra resources for in-between runs to make ourselves a little bit stronger. I can only kill... Oh, dude, I wasn't even looking. Oh! Our first run was an abject failure. And I was really, really happy with our gun loadout, too. I was pretty pleased with it. I was pretty stoked about that gun loadout. All right, let's keep throwing those inside of there. We got 284 crystals out of 500 towards something. I bet what it does is it's the power grid. I bet it opens up this little area so that we can plant seeds and tomatoes and stuff. I bet you, because that entire area is, like, locked right now, so we have no way to, like, access it. Well, let's get started. It's time for another adventure in death and dying. Goodbye, little enemies. Farewell. It was nice meeting all of you. Say what you will about the pistol, but it does actually hit reasonably hard by comparison to a lot of the other weapons in the game. Like, a lot of the other weapons, they don't deal like 7 or 8 damage a shot. And so it might be worth investigating to just, like, use the pistol. Like, I've, I've noticed the damage numbers on it are a little bit better. Let's see what we can kill in that room by lighting off that granata right there. Yep, just wipe him out real fast with the old wrench swing. Good sense of melee impact right there. All right. 
what do we have over here? We've got ourselves a moon lamp. Enemies get highlighted at night. Hold on. I can't focus on looting right now. There's too many enemies around. And they're trying to dookie on me right now. I'm not trying to get, like, dookied on right this second. There we go. All right, what is this? The dried mushroom. Enemy bullets will travel slower. Uh, yeah, let's make the enemy bullets slower. That sounds good. That sounds like... Oh, they travel much slower. They weren't kidding about that. Good lord, those bullets are crazy slow now. I'll take it, though. That's good. Let's kind of light that off and see how many we kill over here. I do wish that the enemy bodies stayed on the ground after you killed them so that you would have, like, an entire map that would just, like, show off the bloodbath that has transpired by the time you finish off all the enemies. I think that'd be pretty cool. I'm a big fan of leftover bodies on the battlefield after I get done. I know it sounds a little psychopathic, but I think it adds to kind of the atmosphere of the game. Oh. I have no ammo left. Well, Shizer. We do have a medkit, though, so that's good. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. It's not too terrible. I'm going to smack a few more of these guys with a wrench. Your bullets are so slow. What will you do, enemy? What will you do? Those guys right there, I kind of... Aw, oh, it counted? Lame. Nice. Sounds like we got like four of them right there. I'm going to light that one off, too. Now, if you're wondering why the bullets out of the mines aren't going slower, it's because those count as neutral bullets. So there's a concept in this game of kind of like... There's red... I'm sorry. There's red bullets, and there's purple bullets, and then there's my bullets, which are blue. And so, like, the way that it works is that purple bl bullets are neutral, so they can actually be affected by items, too. Red bullets are enemy bullets. I'm going to figure out a way to get after these dudes. There we go. wasn't really planning on using my wrench so extensively, but... Seems like the game had other plans. Come on. Get her done. There we go. Perfect. I don't want to fight you guys. I hope you know that. Like, I'm really hoping that you understand that, like, I just want ammo. And lo and behold, an ammo crate. There we go. Oh, we've got a shotgun now. What does a shotgun do? Well, it's not a ricochet shotgun, but hey, it'll do. I'll take it. Let's reload. There is a pretty good variety of weapons that I've seen so far, just in my hour or so of playing the game. I've had, like, shotguns. I've had, like, launchers. I've had automatic, like, pistols and Tech 9s and SMGs. Honestly, I think we got everything here, so I think it's probably safe for us to leave. Let's bounce on out. We got some artifacts and things. We picked up a couple of crystals along the way. It's going to work out. It's nighttime right now, so we'll probably want to lay low a little bit, but this is going to be a boss level. Let's we'll see if we can find the perk crate around here somewhere. We've got extra med kits, which is nice. I do appreciate the availability of med kits out here. A little ammo crate on this side with another weapon. It's got a sniper rifle. I wonder how hard the sniper rifle hits. I'd like to gauge its effectiveness before we do anything else. Uh, let's see if maybe it does 30 damage. That's not terrible. Like, that's nothing to scoff at. Like, pretty good boss killer weapon. Even if we don't hold on to it. I'll probably swap out, yeah, swap out the pistol for the shotgun. Even though the shotgun is not very ammo effective, it is nice for these full rooms over here. And it deals damage multiple times because the enemies don't have iframes or whatever. And so, like, there we go. Get out of my face, bro. Get out of my face, bro. You're running up on me a little too hot right now, dude. Now, we do want to kill the boss on this map, though, before things get too crazy. Go ahead and launch that all over the place. Okay, so neutral bullets we're good on right now. Hopefully, that'll kill the both of them. So I have to deal with their constant barrage of fire. I would prefer to avoid triggering the boss. Ah, oh, there he is. Never mind. Well, it's too late for that thought. You definitely don't want to miss with the sniper rifle. That is the unfortunate truth here. These guys are going to come after me. Yeah, I was going to have to break through right there no matter what I did. We still don't have to use a med kit, so we should be okay. This guy's going to drop like a metric ass ton of ammo too when he goes down, so don't worry too much about killing him. We'll take the med kit and we'll get that stocked in. I don't know if I want to keep the sniper rifle or not. It's a good boss killing weapon, but the single shot is kind of a worry. 
Like, it does lay things out if you need it to. But usually what I'm looking for is something that just, like, spreads a little bit more DACA all over the place. Like, this right here, I can kind of spray indiscriminately and score kills. And that's what I like about the shotgun, is that you don't really need to be precise with it. You know the old golden rule when it comes to shooters. If you can't win with precision, win with volume. Kind of works for argument. Is that a pistol with a... Oh, it's a ricochet pistol. That uses the same ammo of what we have, though. So we'll have two weapons that are essentially, like, out of commission. Ah, nighttime, hold on. I'm gonna try and keep progressing through the level until we find the next perk vendor. But unfortunately, I don't know where it is. I do feel like the shotgun is a bit of overkill from time to time. Oh my goodness. You guys are firing so many bullets at me right now. I need your ammos, though. I am, like, criminally low on ammo. Uh, let's kind of... Yeah, kill the healer for sure. Probably shouldn't have wasted a shotgun shell on that. We lost one health right there. What is this? There's more ammo in ammo boxes. The dash will create a mine. That might actually be useful. I don't use the dash that much. Or a chance of finding weapons in any box. Uh, yeah, let's show off the weapons that the game has. That seems actually like a really, really good thing for a video like this, where I'm kind of introducing you to a game that you haven't heard of. Like, maybe if you're kind of like a gear hound, you know, you like lots and lots of guns being around. Maybe this is the kind of game that'll toot your whistle if you see some new guns going on. Almost ate it right there. I don't know if I want to use that med kit just yet. Do the med kits despawn? Ah. Oh, they do. Ah, oh, dude, I used it. Damn. Okay, so that worked out about as badly as it could have worked out. At least we got some health out of the deal. Do I want the SMG? I do like the SMG. The SMG is pretty sweet. Do we have any kind of map or anything that I can use here? No? All right, we'll lock and load then. We've got like three units left until we get to nighttime. And the next map is actually going to be a challenge map because that's what takes us to like the next world, essentially. If you wanted to view this in kind of Mario Brothers terms, It'll take us to the next world, which has, like, different set pieces and stuff like that. And it's kind of like a tower defense mission, almost. Not really a tower defense mission, but there's a teleporter. And you gotta kind of, like, defend it for a certain amount of time. And it's actually really, really hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's pretty tough. Uh, it's kind of hit or miss for me. Sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. I don't like what you're doing right now. Making things difficult for me. We have 230 crystals. I think that should be enough for us to finish the 500 that we had to put into the machine. Does that just, like, tell you where enemies are? Oh! You get a bonus for clearing missions. Nice, dude. I had no idea. I'd never gone through and, like, 100%ed a mission before. Sweet. Let's go to the next one. This is going to be the defense mission where we have to hold out for, like, 10 minutes against waves of enemies. So fans of stuff that's, like... You know, survival gameplay, like survival mode in like Gears of War or whatever. This is the this is the level that's basically for you. Let's be careful with these ammo crates. I don't want to overdo it. I'm gonna try and save some for later. I'm also gonna blow that up now. In the hopes that maybe, just maybe, we won't have to deal with it. Let's gather as many crystals as we can, because there's a good chance we're gonna die right here. And so banking a whole bunch of these guys is going to be helpful long term. Uh, don't open the ammo crates though. We're going to need those. Trust me. There's going to be a lot of enemies and they are all going to need to be shot. Alright. Wave 1 is here. Somewhere after wave 2 is when the little thing that teleports us gets done. Uh, we've got Moon Sugar. First aid kit puts a ring of fire around us. Okay. I'm alright with that. We've got ourselves three random weapons right there. Chance of regaining a kill. It. Yeah, let's do that. Regeneration when killing with wrenches sounds super red. Oh my goodness. We are getting ran up on so dirty right now. An electric bolt gun. Let's try that out. Oh, cool. So it does like a little... It's like a little taser. I don't know if it channels or not. Oh, I can charge it. Gotcha. And it bounces. Nice, man. Hell yeah. Uh, this is 36% charged right now. Let's break it open another ammo crate real fast. 
and it's nighttime. So we're going to be dealing with the enemies of the wave, and we're also going to be dealing with, like, the enemies of the night, essentially. Come on, reload. Yep, give me that. This does really good damage, though. Like, it's doing shockingly good damage, and I don't mean that in, like, a punning way. I actually thought of that before I realized it was a pun. So, you know what? Here at the Nerd Castle, I'm willing to fess up to little things like that. It's also very, very conservative on ammo. I think this is a pretty good gun. That's what I'm thinking. This little shock lance we got going on. Uh, yeah, it's getting a little intense in here. I can't say that I'm like a fan of what's happening. Careful, final wave. We got 58% right now. All right. We just got to hold out for a little while longer. I'm going to run the med kit right now just in case I take too many successive hits and I start to get stressed. Uh, we are going to need... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Come on, let me in. Let me in. 70%. Oh, my God. Everything is wrong. Everything is terrible. I am now dead. I have been bequeathed death by the universe. Like I told you, that, those missions right there are really hard. Like, I think I've survived it one time out of, like, five attempts. It's a tough one. A plus one generator energy. Nice. So with the plus one generator energy, how do I assign energy to a room, I guess? There's a bunch more machines down here in, like, the southern wing of the building, but I don't really know how to fix them. Botanical unit, legal plants only. Okay. And this looks like it connects. So, like, what connects to right here? It goes to that button right there. See, I'm not super sure how I get this to unlock right here. What's outside? Is there anything outside, or is this just, like, the way that I came from? There's some kind of weird levitating thing over here. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing down this way. I'm a big fan of, like, exploration. I like that it has, like, little ancillary areas that don't matter, though. For whatever reason, like, to me, that makes the map feel more vibrant, that there's, like, little areas that you can get into that, like, just don't matter, but they're just kind of there, I guess, for seasoning. This up here is the training area, just in case. I think later on you probably unlock, like, a gun locker or something that lets you, like, play around with the different gun types. Uh, the Empty Raccoon Paddock can be activated using an electronic pass. Oh, really? So I can get, like, a raccoon, I can get a bird, and I can get a dog. It's pretty rad. Yeah, I still don't know... I want to get into there, but I guess it requires more electricity. It seems like we're just going to need, like, a little bit more crystal in order to power that thing the way that it deserves to be powered. So I guess back into the breach. I was hoping we'd clear that last level. We were really close. I think we were charged at, like, 85% when we went down. Like, we were super close. I'll probably go for full clears this time around, now that I know that that's a thing. Yep, I'm blasting you. I'm blasting you. Get ready for it, aliens. Get ready. I'm a human on your planet, and this is what I do. This is what we do. We show up on the planet, and we just get to whacking stuff, man. We love it. We just can't help it. Hey, new gun. First level, we got a new gun, so that's good. That'll kind of help out a little bit. I'm going to kind of speed back here behind cover before we get ourselves into too much trouble. I would have preferred something with a tighter spread, like maybe a machine gun or something, but this will be all right. Wipe him out. A little bit more, yeah, a little bit more pain. A little bit more bulletry, although we did establish earlier on in the lore of the game in my head that the aliens don't feel pain, so I guess like we're going to have to walk that back. Man, it's been 30 minutes since I invented my lore system around this game, and we're already having to retcon. See, this is why I don't get hired as a writer for anything right here. Damn it, we're already so low on health. Why am I so bad at my job, chat? Why am I so bad at this? I guess bullet hells are just not something that I succeed at. Some items over here. We can make the bullet slower again. I think I see the dried mushroom. That's what that did, right? Yeah, enemy bullets travel slower. That wouldn't be too bad. Oh, dude, I need this ammo. Oh, I needed that ammo really badly. I'm kind of going nutty right now with the old, uh, kind of going nutty right now with the old bullets. I prefer that all of my bullets have kind of like an almondy flavor, unless you're allergic to almond, and then I can alternate and I can use walnut bullets. But really, I like to have a real, real variety 
of bullets I can throw. Melee attack creates a fan of bullets. Yeah, dude, let's do that. Oh, that's the stuff right there. Now I'm never out of ammo, and I'm never out of ranged attacks. Yup, I accept that. This is, ooh, get him, get him. All right, how many enemies we got left around here? Let's go murder them. Let's go murder for Katum in the face. Enemies, where you at? Aw, oh, dude, weak. We're out of time for right now. My name is Splattercat. This is Space Robinson. Uh, this was a sponsored video. The developers really like my channel, and they came through and were like, hey, we'd like for our game to be on your channel. And, you know, I told them. I was like, well, I got to play the game first because I don't feature anything on my channel that I don't like. And so that goes for sponsored videos as well as everything else. Uh, but I played the game for a little while, and I found that I enjoyed it, and it was pretty fun. There's always more room for more Binding of Isaac sort of Enter the Gungeon style games. Like, and they all have, like, this weird way of diversifying in between each other, taking the same core idea and then just branching off in different directions. And so, like, it's never something that I turn down the opportunity to play. I don't know why they're so fun. They just are. So, anyways, the Space Robinson. I got a link for you down below where you can buy the game for yourself if you wanted to purchase it. Uh, how you doing? Take care, everybody. I have something hot and fresh for you in the world of indie gaming tomorrow.